Hello and welcome back to another tutorial with methods. So this time it's about silent tileable drop awaiters that work at hopper speed, so 9000 items per hour. There's one tiny downside and that is you need two different versions. This is the east-west version, this is the north-south version, but they are both fairly simple and exactly the same size, so I don't think that is a problem at all. And yeah, let's just demonstrate them. They work at exactly hopper speed. As you can hear, besides the piston to turn them off, there is absolutely no sounds at all. Here you can see there will always be one item in the hopper, which gets transferred just at hopper speed. Here we already finished. Let's also demonstrate that it works with a single item. And let's check the results. There's never an item left behind. Should be a stack and one in each. And yeah, let's see you in the tutorial. So welcome back to the tutorial. I've prepared the dropper tower, also the hopper input and the shulker boxes. And yeah, let's get right into it. You want to get things started with a downwards facing observer here, comparator, into a solid block, into a rail, into an observer, sticky piston, redstone block, one block gap, repeater, into a block, into a torch, lock on top of the torch, locks to both sides of the torch, two tick repeater on this side, golden rail on that side. Now you need a downwards facing observer here, upwards facing observer here, solid block, power rail. Now you want observers detecting the repeater, make a tower that goes all the way to the end of your droppers and then simply place observers like this detecting the observer tower and fill in the gap with solid blocks and that should be it so let's test it seems to be working. The only thing you have to keep in mind, the next layer you're just going to use activator rails instead of golden rails. Should be no problem, it's exactly the same. And yeah, let's continue with the north side. Okay, we are back at the north side. So right here we want to get things started with a backwards facing observer. Compare it on top into a solid block. Powered rail right here. Power rail right here into a sticky piston, redstone block, one block gap again, into a repeater, into a block, torch on top, block on top of the torch, both sides put blocks, power rail here, repeater on two here, and now again you want a downwards facing observer here. Upward spacing observer here, into a solid block, into a power rail. Yet again we want the observer detecting the repeater. And now comes the change, we need activator rails now instead of golden rails. Repeat that into an activator rail. And now we have to start making an observer rail tower. So place observers like that, all the way of your droppers. Now you want to detect the dropper tower using uh, the observer tower using more observers, just like that. And lastly, you want to place solid blocks like this every second layer. And 
and now also activate the rails on these blocks. And it should be done. So let's test that one as well. No dropper zones whatsoever. And in this one, yet again, just alternate activator and detector rails. And the only little difference is right here at the clock, you have to make this pattern. So no of the rails connect to the next slice. Just make sure that in your one white slice, nothing connects to the next slice. Always alternate. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you will find some use out of these. If you have any ideas, improvements or concepts I should try out, feel free to leave me a nice comment. And yeah, see you next time.